the, yeah. All right, let me. Okay, what, what we forgot, oh, are we streaming already? We are now streaming. Yes. Oops. Okay. It's 10, 10 o'clock, so I figured we'll start. Are we ready? Uh, let's make sure we have quite a few of our board members here. Let's okay. Here is here. Welcome everyone. And uh, speaking. Looks like people are still coming in. I think, why don't you go ahead and begin? It is 10 o'clock. All right. Good morning. Um, my name is Geneva Baker, the 2020 president of Arizona Science Teachers Association. And on behalf of the Arizona Science Teachers Board, I would like to welcome you to our annual meeting. We're so glad you could join us virtually for our year in meeting and celebration of the Arizona Science Teacher. The Arizona Science Teacher Association prides itself in inspiring, engaging, and supporting Arizona science teachers. I call this meeting to order at 10 o'clock. All the executive board members are in attendance with the exception at the moment of Kim Atkins, unless I didn't see you, Kim. She just joined. She just joined. Well, welcome, Kim. And most of our regional directors are also in attendance. As such, I need a motion to accept the consent agenda. Amber Struthers, motion to accept the consent agenda. And Robin, I need Robin, you will I second that motion? Excellent. All those board members in favor, please check yes. And now I can't see what I'm supposed to be seeing. I assume the motion passes. Um, I now need a motion to accept the minutes of the October meeting. This is Robin. I motion to accept the minutes from the October meeting. Thank you, Robin. Do we have a second? Marty Landry, I second. Excellent. All those in favor, please click yes. And the motion passes. Next, I would like to introduce our 2020 board members. Treasurer is Kimberly Atkins. Our recording secretary is Janet Anderson. Membership secretary, Marnie Landry. President-elect, Phil McBride. Past president, Meg Giebert. And then I am the president, Geneva Baker. Our board and regional directors have worked very diligently throughout the year to provide support for our Arizona science teachers. 
I would also like to recognize our 2020 regional directors who have volunteered and worked countless hours on behalf of our members. They are as follows. Region one, Elizabeth Colton. Region two, Tanya Wright. Region three, Diane Ryan. Region four East, Amber Struthers. Region four West, Joni Sheasley. Region five, Rebecca Booth. Region six, Robin Ewell. Region seven, seven I'm sorry. Oh, is uh, Carl Griffer. Region eight, Raleigh Lawyer. Region nine, Cameron Mower. Region 10, Edwin Sagney. Region 11 is vacant and region 12, Regina Hitchcock. While 2020 has been quite the challenge, ASTA continues to inspire, engage, and support science teachers throughout Arizona. At the beginning of our year, we celebrated our sixth annual STEM Collaborative Unconference. The STEM Arizona Education Collaborative is a union of the three leading STEM organizations in Arizona. This year's theme focused on celebrating the diversity of STEM for all students. Johnny Sheasley, our marketing committee chair, redesigned the ASTA logo and working with the PR committee and our website technician, Julia Olson, our website took on a fresh new look this spring. As the pandemic spread and schools were facing a new school year virtually, teachers needed training on how to deliver quality education and online. While the last quarter of the 2019 and 2020 school year was delivered via the internet, it was treated as a triage and teachers were thrown into the deep end. Teachers wanted to make certain at the beginning of the 2020 school year that it would not resemble the previous quarter. ASTA and ASTE, as well as AATM and ACHE, stepped into the gap and provided a series of webinars. In a flipped classroom model, participants first watched the recorded webinar and then joined colleagues for the facilitated discussion, followed up by a Q&A session. We had over 1,760 educators participate. Through Cornell's Center for, Mater Cornell's Center for Materials Research and Connections at ASU, as to help promote a lending library of experiments and materials that teachers can use to check out to use with their students. Besides lending out materials to teachers, they have created online lessons. ASTA part partnered with the Teacher Institute for Evolutionary Science to provide free professional development to support teachers. TIES provides high school, middle school, and elementary teachers the tools they need to effectively teach evolution and answer its critics based on science. ASTA, in partnership with the Arizona Department of Education and financially supported by the Salt River Project, coordinates the Ambassador Program. A cadre of teacher leaders from around the state, known as ambassadors, provide professional learning opportunities to their school, district, and region, helping provide understanding of the framework of K-12 science education, Arizona science standards, and 3D dimensions, specifically the science and engineering practices. Our amazing ambassadors provided professional learning to more than 650 educators across the state during the 2019-2020 academic year, with most of that occurring prior to the, pan to the pandemic. At the beginning of the quarantine, ASTA began hearing from teachers about the great need for support, ideas, and fellowship from fellow science teachers as they were isolated at home. The board decided to start Science Talks, a weekly Zoom meeting for any teacher in the state. It was a smashing success. This program has evolved to a space where science teachers talk about the various topics on the fourth Monday of every month. Science Talks have helped hundreds of teachers not feel so alone during the pandemic and has fostered a community of teachers who support each other. Through an intense professional learning opportunity, 60 middle level teachers worked in teams learning how to utilize five tools and processes for implementing Arizona science standards through diving deep, constructing three dimensional middle school units program. This program was a partnership between BSCS, 
Science Learning, ADE, Arizona Science Teachers, and was funded by the APS Foundation. Participants created a 3D unit blueprint and developed multiple instructional sequences that formed a 3D science instructional unit utilizing the 5D instructional model. These draft units are published on the ASTA website and are sample models of how Arizona science standards can be bundled together to form an instructional unit. With the support of the Thomas R. Brown Family Foundation, these teams have and are still developing webinars that provide an overview of their unit. The on-demand on webinars are on the ASTA website under standard resources. All materials are from this program are free for educators to use. As you know, Arizona was supposed to host the regional NSTA conference this year, but like many other events was canceled and changed to an online conference. NSTA pivoted from in-person to the online platform and held a virtual, virtual conference last weekend. More than 1,000 educators from across the country attended the virtual event. ASTA provided two sessions in partnership with ADE about performance tasks. We know it's important to stay connected. ASTA maintained a strong social media presence, advertising our professional development opportunities and other amazing work being done by science teachers around the state. And the collaboration goes on. This upcoming PD is provided in collaboration with the STEM Mazing Project and the Arizona Association of Physics Teachers. It is an Arizona grassroots to professional learning network for educators who teach conceptual-based physics to freshmen. As author Joshua Marine said, challenges are what makes life interesting and overcoming them is what makes it meaningful. While 2020 has offered us a myriad of challenges, ASTA took up those challenges and became a stronger organization. Marnie Landry, our membership secretary, will now give the annual membership report. Our current uh, membership is 398 um, paid up members. We were able to produce monthly regional director letters um, from those lists, and we did adopt a new membership management system um, called Paid Memberships Pro, which really helped streamline that system. And on my way out, I just want to say I never fully appreciated the amount of work membership secretary was until I filled in this year. So thank you, Phil, for all those years of doing it. And thank you, Marnie, for your incredible amount of work that you've done, in particular um, helping our regional directors send um, out communications with our members. Next is Kim Atkins, our treasurer, with her annual report. Hello. Um... Meg, can you go to the next slide? Okay, so our current balance is $81,057.12. Well, oh, sorry, can you go back? Thank you. Um, we did carry over $41,920 um, from that will be carried over to the next year's budget for future PD. Um, I, um, this year we prioritized collecting aging invoices. We really did a really good job on that this year. And we approved our budget a little earlier than usual this year also. That was approved at our last board meeting. Can you go to the next one, please? <clears throat> All right, so here is our actual um, and our budget projections for our last fiscal year. Please keep in mind that ASTA's fiscal year runs from November 1st through October. So we just started a new year. So this, this was last year's. Um, some of those differences were because of uh, COVID events. Um, but our the reason we had so many expenses budgeted was because we had some grant supported PD that we carried out last year. And that's all I have. Thank you, Kim. Next, we have Sarah Torres, our executive director. 
Thank you, Geneva. Uh, my report was submitted to the board in the board files, and you'll be able to access that there. Under the categories of the, uh, the roles of this position, um, I highlighted uh, for the annual report a few of our accomplishments um, that we have done. I think one of the big things that even though we had the pandemic, over 46 professional learning events um, occurred this year. Um, and we know that um, through that registration, we've impacted more than 700 educators. And that doesn't include you know, the impact that we had on students. And as Kim just said, we are carrying over about uh, $42,000 to continue the professional learning that uh, we can do for our educators through grant funds. And you can see my whole report in the board files. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. We appreciate all of those who have supported and helped lead Arizona science teachers this year. Besides our board members who voluntarily serve throughout the year, we also have many members who help lead the organization by serving on committees. These committees meet each month and sometimes more as needed. They put Arizona science teachers vision into reality by bringing forward programs and initiatives that inspire, engage and support science educators. We are grateful for these indiv individuals who have spent numerous hours serving Arizona science teachers and science education throughout the year. Elizabeth Andrews, the first woman organizer of the Labor Party in Wales stated, volunteers do not necessarily have the time, they just have the heart. We are very grateful for the hearts of these volunteers. As mentioned earlier in the meeting, our ambassador program is a collaboration with ADE and SRP. It is an ongoing program for five years. We have some amazing teachers who provide high quality professional development to teachers and students throughout the state. Thank you to our ambassadors for your hard work. They pivoted from face-to-face -face PD and created virtual webinars, which has had a tremendous impact for teachers, particularly those science teachers in our rural areas. We mentioned our remarkable deeper dive program earlier. Our teacher teams represent school districts statewide. This collaboration of over 50 teachers built three exemplary units and create, created webinars to explain how to best implement this curriculum. Thank you to our sixth grade team members who created these units. We are very proud of the work that they have done. Thank you to our seventh grade team that developed these units. Your work is making an impact on districts across the state. Thank you to the eighth grade team for all the time and effort you did in the past year creating these units of instruction that are aligned to the Arizona science standards. All these units that were completed are available for free on the Arizona Science Teachers Association website. Next, I'm going to hand this over to Meg, who is presenting the awards portion of our ceremony. There we go, gotta unmute myself. All right, good morning, everyone. I would like to start out by introducing Sarah Sleesman, um, who is going to present the presidential awards and bring us up to date on that this year. So Sarah, I need to see if you're here. I am here and... <clears throat> Good morning and thank you, Meg. Um, I'd like to start out by just saying thank you to Sarah and thank you to Meg and the whole ASTA team for once again, providing many outstanding opportunities for, <clears throat> for our educators in Arizona this last year. ASTA and ADE have really worked, as you can see, closely together over this past year to develop multiple professional learning opportunities for science educators across the state. And ADE, really, we really value this partnership greatly. Um, my name is Sarah Sleesman, and I am the K-12 Standards Director for Science and STEM for the uh, Arizona Department of Education. And as you know, we are in our, our second year of implementation on these new standards, and it feels like it's been three years, but we're really in that second year. 
Um, and we've moved so forward so quickly. Um, it's really, truly exciting that science education in Arizona is moving towards this three-dimensional learning and framework-based standards. Um, also on my team, as you know, oh, oh, I don't know that you have the right slides in here. No. I think, can you go back I'm, one slide, please? Sure, I can. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. Also on my team, we have Rebecca Gorelli, who is our science um, and STEM specialist. <clears throat> she brings an immense amount of experience to our team. She has multiple different things that are coming up for webinars that she has also created. Okay. Today, I'm really, oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and now the next one. <laughs> All right. Okay. So today I am here to present the Presidential Award of Excellence for Mathematics and Science Teaching, also known as PAMST. Um, these were established in 1983, and it's the highest recognition for K-12 mathematics or science that a teacher may receive for outstanding teaching in the United States. Next. Mm -hmm. So it's really exciting that we have one of our science educators in Arizona named as the National Awardee recipient of this prestigious Presidential Awards of Excellence for Mathematics and Science Teaching. And we have Christine Mendoza, who was one of the 2019 Arizona State finalists for secondary education, and she is now our national awardee for the state. All right. So Christine Mendoza is a national board certified middle school teacher for the Liberty Elementary School District in Buckeye, Arizona. She has 17 years of classroom teaching experience. In addition to her work in her formal classroom setting, Christine has also spent three years working at an informal education setting in a pre-college education and outreach coordinator for the National Science Foundation. <clears throat> in addition to that, she is a workshop leader for the American Modeling Association, AMTA, and also has led several different um, learning experiences across the state of Arizona. So hopefully soon we can honor Christine with her crystal trophy, which is normally was received at our state board of education meeting and presented by superintendent Kathy Hoffman. Next. Um, so the 2019-20 applications for the K-5 cycle are currently in the review process by our state selection committee right now. Due to the COVID virus, the application due date was actually pushed back to a closed date of October, that'd be reviewed or turned in by October of 20, October 26th, which is a lot later than the normal date. So then as you can see here, <clears throat> this is the 2021 PAMPS application cycle is now open. So if you know a teacher that is just goes above and beyond or just really makes that thoughtful impact in the classroom with their science teaching, math teaching, it's really now has turned into a STEM. It could be at any of those um, buckets. So nominate them for the Presidential Awards for Excellence in Math and Science Teaching. And this year's cycle, it goes back and forth every year. This year's cycle is the seventh through 12th grade cycle. Um, last year was the K-6 cycle. So yeah, that's what I have for you to share. We just wanna congratulate and let you know of what is going on currently with the Presidential Awards. Okay, thank you very much, Sarah. And then ASTA has our own set of what we fondly call the Toy Awards, the Teacher of the Year. So that's what I wanna talk about now. Um, and it is my pleasure to announce the winners of our 2020 Science Teachers of the Year. So this process involves each awardee being nominated by a peer, administrator, or a student for their outstanding science instruction and their contribution to science education beyond their classroom walls. The applicants had to complete an extensive award process, were scored by a panel of their peers, many of whom are state and national science teaching award winners themselves. Um, factors considered in the review process include success in the classroom, their mentorship, their leadership at the local, state, and national level, community involvement, continued professional growth, and the delivery of high quality science education. So it's quite an extensive process. Okay, I'm just checking the chat room there. Um, let me go over here. So we have four categories, novice, elementary, middle school, and high school. And 
We also have honorable mentions then. So I'm gonna start with the honorable mentions. We received more than 40 nominations this year, um, which is pretty amazing considering how busy teachers were trying to pivot to online teaching. There was a lot of competition and the application scores were as close as we've ever seen them. So close that we required additional scoring so we could separate first and second places in each category. Um, and the following teachers were recognized as honorable mentions for their outstanding applications. And we look forward to seeing their applications again next year. Each of the honorees, um, honorable mentions is receiving a certificate and a free year of ASTA membership. So novice science teacher of the year honorable mention was a tie that could not be broken. That's how, how good all the nom nominees were this year. James Tobin, from Imagine Desert West in the Phoenix area, and Shelley Wormuth from Dove Mountain in Tucson were both for the Novice Teacher of the Year. Elementary School Science Teacher of the Year honorable mention is Martha Bishop. She teaches in the Twin Peaks K-8 school in the Tucson area. Let me just chat. Yes, congratulations to everyone in this group. And then we have honorable mention for middle school that was Lauren Marlott um, from Coronado, K-8 in Tucson. And then high school science teacher of the year was Kevin Mart from Young Public School in Young, Arizona. So round of applause for all of our honorable mentions. And let's see where I am. Oops, sorry, I got into annotating. That's not what I wanted to do. It's amazing how you can stray into things on the computer screen. So then we have our ASTA 2020 Science Teachers of the Year, and each of these awardees will receive a one paid ASTA year paid ASTA membership, a complimentary conference registration for our next upcoming conference, a framed certificate, a personalized plaque, and then there are sponsors for each category that award the awardees um, at least $100 worth of a gift certificate or other um, materials that they can use in their classrooms. And our award sponsors include Educational Innovations, Pasco Scientific, Discovery Education, STEM Sports, and Argument Driven Inquiry. And we'll hear a little bit from each of those. All right, thank you. All right, hold on, let me make sure where I'm going to next. Okay, so our first category is the Novice Teacher of the Year. And that is sponsored by PASCO. Um, and I wanna show you a quick video that they made so we understand a little bit more about our sponsors. PASCO had its humble beginnings in 1964 when Paul Stockstad was inspired by his very own science fair project to offer educational equipment to others. I started PASCO 54 years ago, a uh, high school junior doing a science project. And that science project grew into all the products that we have today. What started up in a garage grew into serving millions of teachers and students worldwide. Today, PASCO continues the tradition of working with teachers and students to make an impact on improving science education all over the world. Okay, so the Novice Science Teacher of the Year for 2020. Oops, not the video again. No, no, no. Okay, there we go, got it. Is Ethan McBride from Thatcher High School in Thatcher, Arizona. And Ethan is an amazing person and does a superb job of connecting with his students, especially those that are disconnected, considered at risk, or struggle with emotional and behavioral issues. As an accomplished vocalist and musician, he incorporates the arts into his instruction and has a remarkable ability to accommodate all types of learners. Not only is Ethan in his first years as a classroom teacher, he is also completing a graduate degree in biological sciences at Clemson University. His authentic scientific knowledge is applied not only in his classroom, Thank you. 
but also as a content expert mentor in the science department. He is a gifted young teacher and will do tremendous work in the field of education for years to come. So what I just read to you was parts was taken that from the, uh, on the board. letters of recommendation. And then the word art you're seeing on, on the screen is also his letters of recommendation and application put together to create this word art. So you can see the words that his peers use to describe him. So thank you to PASCO for and Educational Innovations for sponsoring this Novice Teacher Science of the Year Award. Um, Ethan, do you wanna say a couple words? You're welcome to if you like. Um, thank you. Um, I wasn't expecting this at all. <laughs> so, um, you know, I just, I'm a new teacher. I wasn't expecting, I, I feel like I have so much more to learn, but I'm grateful for the nomination and I'm just glad to be a part of, you know, these young kids learning. All right, great. Thank you. Well, we are happy to have you joining our profession. Thank you. Okay, so next is the Elementary Science Teacher of the Year, and that is sponsored by Discovery Education. Um, normally in an in-person situation, we would have people from each of these companies up here shaking your hand, presenting you with things and, and, and saying how pleased they are. So that's why we have the videos instead to um, still have them be a presence and be able to recognize the winners. So let me do this one. take a field trip around the world, even though I've never been on an airplane. I can investigate the mysteries of the human body from the inside out. I can see the world through the eyes of others. I can experience what's happening today and understand what it means for tomorrow. I can do experiments and learn to think like a scientist. I can learn biology while I'm still learning English. I can solve problems that I couldn't understand before. I can dream. I can engage. I can build. I can achieve. I can learn. 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 starting again. Okay, next slide. That's it. So the elementary science teacher of the year is Danielle Schwartz from the Innovation Academy K-5 Public STEM School in Oro Valley. Danielle excites and engages her first grade students. This is close to my heart because I taught first grade for many, many years. They, she integrates science and engineering themes and projects into reading, writing, and math instruction. By focusing on the 5E STEM education model, Ms. Swartz's students regularly have the highest achievement scores in the district. She incorporates the engineering design process and scientific inquiry masterfully, creating an authentic learning experience in her classroom. The first grade scientists in Ms. Swartz's learning lab are going to be the problem solvers and critical thinkers of tomorrow. Beyond the classroom, Danielle mentors others by serving on this amazing.org teacher leader core and by designing and facilitating workshops for other teachers. Ms. Schwartz is an example of what is best for children. So Danielle, would you like to say anything? Congratulations. Thank you, I would, thank you. Um, I'd like to thank ASTA for this recognition and for the learning and networking opportunities that you consistently facilitate for Arizona teachers. I'm honored to represent my school and my district. Um, I want to say hi to my friends and family in Tucson <laughs> and Florida and California, Louisiana, <laughs> um, Tennessee, New Jersey, Georgia, and Luxembourg. <laughs> and um, I want to say thank you to my past and current colleagues, my principal and Danelle Hogan, from whom I've learned so much, and a big air hug. Sorry. <laughs> and a big air hug to all my students, past and current. I'm grateful okay. for all you do. Thank you. We are grateful for, for what you do for students also. 
And you must have a lot of Zoom meetings with family if you have family all over the place like that. <laughs> all right, well, congratulations. And thank you to Discovery Education and Educational Innovations for sponsoring this Elementary Science Teacher of the Year Award. Thank you. And then our Middle School Science Teacher of the Year Award is sponsored by STEM Sports and Educational Innovations. So let me show you their video. STEM Sports provides standardized turnkey K through eight supplemental curricula that combines STEM disciplines with sports. We deliver authentic hands-on engagement opportunities to students and youth by using BMX, basketball, football, golf, soccer, volleyball, and others as real life applications to drive STEM-based learning in the classrooms, after school programs, and camps. The curriculum is even flexible enough to teach and implement at home or virtually on platforms such as Zoom, Google Classroom, or Skype. Then you jump, you come back down. As a result, students develop critical thinking, collaboration, creative problem solving, and leadership skills that can be applied throughout their education and future careers. Just as importantly, movement and mindfulness are vital components of our student-led curricula. Our double play combination of physical activity and cognitive thinking provides a comprehensive inquiry-based educational experience and a solution for crucial STEM literacy for students. Aligned with next generation science standards, common core state standards, national standards for K through 12 physical education, our curricula will cultivate and promote participants' STEM engagement and retention. For teachers and other educational administrators, training or professional development is not needed nor required to implement STEM sports curricula due to the ease of our 5E modeled lessons, which are grounded in active learning. STEM sports provides the curriculum with and without the necessary and relevant sports equipment along with the entire list of supplies called for in the teacher's manual and all of the items have a long lasting shelf life. For more information, please visit stemsports.com. There we go. And I'm pleased to announce that the Middle School Science Teacher of the Year is Melissa Wilburn from Quail Run Elementary in Tucson. And Melissa Wilburn has taught sixth grade at Quail Run for 14 years and has over 20 years of teaching experience. She never does a job like it would normally be done. She adds enthusiasm and dedication to both the fun and the hard tasks. Melissa brings in experts and real world experiences to her students including representatives from SARCEF and Tucson Electric Power. At the district level, Melissa is the Code to the Future Coordinator, serves on the Science Committee, is the Science Fair Coordinator, and supports training on the new science standards. Statewide and beyond, she is a stamazing.org teacher leader who started a project to virtualize an orientation to group work unit from Stanford University. The resulting virtual unit has been accessed by nearly 1,000 teachers, including one from Amon Jordan, who reached out to say thank you. Mrs. Wilburn's commitment to pursue excellence in the field of education is unparalleled, and she will continue to make a difference in the world of STEM. Congratulations, Melissa. Would you like to, to say a few words? Um, I just want to thank the selection committee and ASTA for this honor. I'd also like to thank my nominators for recognizing my um, passion in STEM education and for everyone who supported me in this application process. Their words of encouragement and, and comments in their letters are very humbling. Um, I'm also hopeful that my students recognize these efforts and hopefully um, I'm able to instill a sense of wonder for them and help them possibly um, explore some STEM field careers in the future. So thank you. All right, thank you, congratulations. And thank you to STEM Sports and Educa Educational Innovations for sponsoring this Middle School Science Teacher of the Year. And our last category then is the High School Teacher of the Year. 
That is sponsored this year by Argument Driven Inquiry and Educational Innovations. So let's hear from them. At ADI, we create rigorous and equitable STEM learning experiences for students that help them learn how to make sense of the world around them and develop solutions to problems that will help make the world a better place. We believe that students should be doing the meaning making inside the classroom. All students' ideas and participation should be valued, and all students can do amazing things when we give them more voice and choice about what they are doing. We strive to make this happen by developing instructional models and resources and training teachers on how to use them. Even after eight years, we still get excited every time we hear a teacher share about the great conversations happening in their classroom or the growth they're seeing in a student's ability to express their thoughts verbally and in writing. We are proud to be sponsoring this year's Arizona Science Teachers Association Secondary Teacher of the Year Award. As teachers ourselves, we know the hard work and dedication required to create valuable, rigorous, and equitable instruction for all students. And it is our honor to celebrate such an exceptional example of what that hard work can bring. To all the teachers, thank you. We see you, we hear you, and we are here to support you. consistent. There we go. And the high school science teacher of the year for 2020 is Lisa Baker from Cienega High School and Vail Innovation Center in Vail, Arizona. And let me tell you about, about this, Lisa. Um, she, Ms. Baker, Mrs. Baker is one of those educators who stands out as a leader both inside and outside her classroom. Not only is she an amazing high school science teacher for Cienega High School, she is also the teacher for all of the sixth through eighth grade students at the Vail Innovation Center, the online Vail District program. And she is the online teacher for all students taking chemistry, ecology, and biology. Lisa serves as the science department instructional team leader, a cognitive coach for new teachers, the site collaborative content, content meeting leader, that's a long one, and as a member of the district science curriculum team. Her drive to instill a science mindset has led to the implementation of the Girls Who Code and She Tech Club, the celebration of Chemistry Week, and an increase in dual enrollment science course offerings. In addition to all of these commitments, she also has worked as the site science coordinator for Corona Foothills and Cienega over the years and is always looking to improve these programs. Lisa Baker leads by example and works to provide the best learning opportunities for all of her students. Congratulations, Lisa. Would you like to say a few words? Sure. Um, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you. I'm incredibly honored. I feel like all teachers deserve an award like this this year. So you all, I'm, I wanna share this with everyone because I know we are all working really hard this year. And this award's really helped me just continue to strive for excellence despite all of these challenges. So thank you. And I have so many people to thank, I won't list them all, but, uh, there's been many people involved in my success, so thank you. All right, thank you for all you do. And thank you to Argument Driven Inquiry and Educational Innovations for sponsoring this High School Science Teacher of the Year. And then one last slide, just to thank all the sponsors. Um, I think as Lisa said, it, it takes, we all have people who support us and it is great when the business industry that's involved in education supports this kind of award because they want to see teachers succeed too. So thank you to all um, Argument Driven Inquiry, Discovery Education, Educational Innovations, PASCO, and STEM Sports for their support of ASTA, enabling us to um, award teachers for their hard work and dedication. And at this point, I'm gonna give it back to Geneva because we have a special award to give out. We do. Um, so thank you, Meg. Our next mm -hmm. awardee has served on the board for over 15 years and for many, many more years prior to that as a member. Oops, sorry, I get it. There we go. It's all good. So I would, so Raleigh Lawyer first approached me one day after church like 10 years ago and asked me why I wasn't a member of Arizona Science Teachers. He continued that question every Sunday for three years until I capitulated and joined, which was one of the best things I've ever done. Um, Raleigh always makes time to help out, show up at events and ensure everyone has the same love and passion for science as they do. I am honored to give the Distinguished Service Award to Mr. Raleigh Lawyer. 
during our annual conference, you can always find help in the exhibit hall from Raleigh and Siggy, um, his wife. They come as a matched set and a team. Um, not only do they volunteer to work at the ASTA table in the exhibit hall, they pretty much run the exhibit hall. Over the years, they've worked with the fire marshal, the custodial staff, the sound system, the caterers, as well as all the exhibitors and their materials. Raleigh's quick smile always makes everyone feel welcomed and appreciated. Um, Raleigh will be receiving a plaque as well as both him and his wife, Siggy, receiving lifetime Arizona Science Teachers Association memberships. Thank you, Raleigh, for all of your years of service. Um, Raleigh, did you want to have anything that you wanted to say? I know you were on earlier. Raleigh, you just need to unmute. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Now, can you hear me? We can. Okay, great. I just would like to say thank you very much for the uh, time that I've had serving on the board. It has been a wonderful experience. I've seen AFS to go from where we were in 2006 when we were working diligently to support teachers uh, to where we are now. The um, board made the decision to add an executive director and that changed the entire approach and direction that we were taking as science teachers. And it's just been a wonderful experience to have somebody that's out there able to get funding for us so that we're able to provide PD so that all of our teachers K-12 can provide a much better science experience for their children. And I would just like to add that I uh, did the grading for the elementary toys and they were as an entire group as superior as any I've seen in all the years that I've been scoring the uh, teacher of the year nominees. And I was particularly happy to see that there were even some preschool teachers that were teaching science and uh, bringing science to the uh, preschool classroom setting. Thank you very much to everyone. It's been my great pleasure to work with all of you. Thank you, Raleigh. Same for me. Love and Siggy says Thank the same thing. Remember. I wouldn't have been here where I was without her faithful support and expertise throughout all of these years. And we will continue to be um, active members. And of course, we'll continue to be active members even if we're not serving on the board. We just, we know where to find you, Raleigh. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I've been at Mary C. O'Brien for 20 years now, so probably that's a good spot to start. Thank you Thank very you, much. Thank you, You're welcome. At this time, I would like to call Meg Giebert as the chair of our nominating committee. Okay. At this time, I the, these, the next two slides will introduce you to the um, 2021 ASTA board members, which includes some newly elected board members. Their names are in bold. I'll read them in a minute. And these newly elected board members will serve for two years um, with the exception of the president elect who then becomes, who begins her three year presidential cycle. Um, we have elections for those of you who may not know in even years, we, we elect the even numbered regions and in odd years, odd numbered years, not just odd years, odd numbered years, we elect the odd numbered regions. Um, and these are, are open to anyone who, who teaches, or lives in those regions. And if it's something you're interested in for the future, you can contact any of us board members to find out what it involves. So this is the whole board. We have a new president elect, that's Kimberly Atkins. We have a new membership secretary, that's me, because I just still want to be on the board. Um, we have a new treasurer, Robin Ewell is stepping into that position. Um, region two, Mojave County has a new representative, Christy Cornelison. Yeah, just out of my way. There we go. Region four East um, will be Amber Struthers. And we have region four split into two. So one is elected one, one cycle and one the other cycle. And then I couldn't fit them all on one slide without making them really teeny, so I made two slides. Region six for Pima County, representing Pima County will now be Lisa Nielsen. Um, region eight, Pinal County will be Tanya Ogle. Region 10, Northern Navajo and Apache, Edwin Saguenay. And 
Region 12, Southern Navajo and Apache is Regina Hitchcock. We are still looking for a representative from Coconino County. So if that is something you're interested, um, go to the ASTA website and you can find emails for the board members and let us know. We will be appointing someone um, this year for that position. Okay, so let me see what else, make sure I have all my notes here. So Madam President, I present this slate of board members for 2021. Um, and welcome to our new board members. Um, I can't wait to see what amazing things we will accomplish this year. Excellent, thank you. And we'd also like to thank all of these organizations um, who have provided both monetary and in-kind support this year. We could not offer the kind of professional learning opportunities and programs without the support of these organizations. Now I would like to introduce you to Phil McBride, our 2021 as to president. Thanks, Geneva. We appreciate all the work you've done. Right, uh, our board members had the opportunity to do an annual review of our executive director, Sarah Torres. And as you can see, she's done an amazing job for ASTA. So five of the areas that we evaluated her on, and each area had about five to seven questions, was program development and administration. And you can see that she was almost 100% remarkable in that category. The four categories were remarkable, satisfactory, developing, or unsatisfactory. And she was over 90% remarkable. In communications and community relations, 100% remarkable. Financial management and legal compliance, once again, extremely remarkable. Board of Directors Relations, 100% re remarkable. And fundraising, also almost completely remarkable. So all of the tabulations either showed remarkable and satisfactory and with the high proportion being remarkable. So a few comments, Sarah is remarkable, awesome, and a key to ASTA's success. She is a treasure for us. We're extremely fortunate to have her. She is amazing and keep being amazing. <clears throat> so Sarah, <clears throat> thank you for being our executive director and for all that you do to make our organization the great organization that it is and to help strengthen STEM education science education across Arizona. So based on the outstanding work Sarah has done and continues to do for both the organization and teachers from around the state, the executive board is pleased to bring a motion to the full Arizona Science Teachers Association board to offer Sarah a contract from December 1st, 2020 to November 30th, 2021 um, at the same contract amount as last year, $35,000. So, um, is there any discussion? Other than we are super excited to have you, Sarah. So then it goes to a vote of the board. If you would, um, Arizona Science Teachers Association board members, if you would please mark um, in the chat or on your um, screen, yes or no. And so the motion passes. We are absolutely pleased to offer you Sarah, a contract for the for this upcoming year, and I this is I will turn it back to Phil. Thanks, Geneva, and thanks again, Sarah, for all you do. I'd also like to congratulate our toy awardees. Appreciate all that you do for science education in Arizona. I can tell that you're doing great things for our kids in Arizona and we appreciate all that you do. And Riley and Sig, thanks so much. You've been uh, great friends and great examples and mentors to me as well. 
congratulations on your award. So looking back in 2020, we've seen wildfires across California and the Southwest. Of course, we know about the coronavirus, which has resulted in empty classrooms. We've had a new devastating record of hurricanes that is still continuing. We've had great scientific developments as people or scientists try to develop cures for the coronavirus, as well as uh, other issues in science across the globe. We've also incorporated science talks, which has been a, a monthly great opportunity for science teachers to get together and talk and discuss how they can better become exceptional teachers and help their students. And top right, you'll notice we have a new ASTA logo and I think it's a great improvement and just takes us into this next phase. So kind of what's in store for 2021? This past year has kind of been a year of masks and face shields. So what are we looking for in the future? So my vision kind of for 2021 is kind of going along with NSTA's mission, which is promoting excellence and innovation in science teaching and learning for all, followed by ASTA's mission to inspire, engage, and support science teachers in preparing STEM learners for success. So to do that, we plan to develop a strategic plan in collaboration with our partnering groups of ASTE and, and AATM, so we, uh, the math group. So we plan to do this in February, and I think it's a great opportunity for us to collaborate and get together and really come up with a good strategic plan for ASTA. We're gonna continue with the science talks. I think this is a great opportunity for educators to get together and talk and discuss issues that all of us face. Of course, we want to strengthen partnerships and we appreciate those that support us and we want to continue to have that support. And of course, we want to support teachers across Arizona with additional PDA opportunities, providing resources for our teachers and continue to innovate to provide quality learning experiences for students, especially during this pandemic time. We've been had great success with our deeper dive to construct three dimensional units of instruction. And we want to continue with the progress we've made there. So a lot of opportunities that we have to look forward to in 2021. So science, it's at the forefront of conversations across the globe. So not only coronavirus, global warming, uh, other issues. There are a lot of things that we can do to find science. So let's capitalize on those opportunities that present themselves and let's make 2021 a great year to teach and learn science. Let's be there for our students, whether it's face-to-face, -face, Zoom, or any other way. Let's make science. Let's continue to teach science. And I want to give a special thanks to Geneva Baker, our 2020 president. A big virtual hug to Geneva. I uh, wish we could be there in person to uh, congratulate you and express your appreciation. And we'll have some appreciation gifts for you in the future. And hopefully we can do that face to face. But if not, we'll send those to you in, in the mail. But thanks, Geneva, for all you've done in 2020 and the past many years. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. So future meetings for the board, we're planning on having a meeting every month, usually on the second Monday. And except for February, when we're gonna have a strategic planning with our uh, partnering groups, that would be on February 20th. And most of these are gonna be online. We do hopefully we'll have a face-to-face -face conference in November. 
If not, we may have to plan on a virtual conference, but some way we're gonna be able to provide a conference to our ASTA members. So this is an outline of our 2021 meeting dates. So put them on your calendar and I look forward to meeting and working with each of you in 2021. Thank you, Phil. Are you interested in volunteering? Um, we really need your input. Please join a committee. We have several opportunities for you to volunteer, including our professional development, policy and advocacy, membership, nominations and board development, marketing, awards, finance, and more. You can either email Sarah or you can complete the short form by clicking on the QR link or clicking on well, I guess you can't click on that link yet, but we will have it available for you. So looking forward, um, 2021 looks to be an exciting year for Arizona science teachers. ASTA is providing multiple opportunities for professional growth. We are looking forward to our annual STEM Unconference in January, along with premiering two Schoology's asynchronous courses. One will be focused on three-dimensional assessment and the other on evaluating lessons for three dimensions. We know there's a lot of new content for teachers with the new standards. So join a curriculum science topic study to deepen your science content knowledge. And although we couldn't hold our annual symposium in 2020, we were very sad about that. We are looking forward to having our stability and change symposium this upcoming summer. We also, this coming Monday, there is still time to register for our science talk. And our topic is science and engineering practices. You can register at asda.org. Um, they really are an amazing way to connect and talk with fellow educators across the state who are, and the best thing about the science talks is you find out everybody's kind of struggling. Um, you're not alone with the struggling and they are free. So next we also have our three hour virtual workshops. We have monthly sessions. We have one upcoming in December, December 5th. You can register at ASTA. Um, they are $25 for ASTA members and $35 for non-ASTA members. However, we do have scholarships available as well. So if you're interested in taking them, um, please sign up. We also have monthly sessions of core ideas, which is one of the three dimensions of Arizona Science Standards. They are free. You can also register at um, all of, you can register at asta.org and all of the webinars are open for registration. And being a member of ASTA has a plethora of benefits. We provide teachers with professional development opportunities, advocate for members with the state on science education issues. And as Meg put it, we are a fun group to be a part of. And here we can hear from some of our members about some of the benefits. So one more short video. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to share a few things that I appreciate about ASTA. And I'm so glad that I'm a part of with this um, great organization. I can really um, share how ASTA's inspired me to be a better teacher, given me the great ideas to try new things in my classroom and help me engage with my students so that the learning is more connected to, to them and where they're at so they can really understand the material, especially with the bringing in the 3D model, being able to apply all those strategies for learning science. And finally, they've supported me. I've created a great network of professionals that have encouraged me uh, through the ups and the downs and helped me become a better educator in Arizona. So I hope that you join and let's make Arizona a great place to learn science. Hi, my name is Robin Ewell and I'm the Region 6 Director for the Arizona Science Teachers Association for Pima County. I am constantly inspired by the hard work and dedication of ASTA and the dedication that they have for our teachers across Arizona 
and our students and pushing our teachers to become better science teachers, helping them stay informed and helping provide high quality science lessons that will benefit every student in every school across our state. My name is Audrey Corners. I uh, live and teach in Yuma, Arizona at Mary A. Otondo Elementary School. I am a first grade teacher who gained more knowledge on how to teach science uh, to such young students. Uh, the best thing that I've has come out of this is I've had a mentor that's been with me to help me um, along the way and I've learned so much about teaching science. Hi, my name is Vicki Massey. Being able to then have conversations about what works in teaching science and to be supportive and be a listening ear and to just be able to be around teachers that want to learn more and have that growth mindset and be able to encourage them. There we go. So, Arizona Science Teachers Association memberships make excellent gifts for your favorite science teacher, including you. Um, you can renew your membership through a gift certificate. We are having a sale and offering a $10 annual membership certificate. The sale ends December 31st. Our final meeting of the 2020 year will be on December 10th at 7 p.m. on Zoom. Thank you everyone, really, for an amazing yet challenging 2020. And thank you today for coming, or thank you for coming to today's meeting. Um, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Amber Struthers, motion to adjourn. Kimberly Adkins, I second that motion. All those in favor, please say aye or type aye or yes. The meeting is adjourned at 11.06. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe and go do science. Have a great year. <laughs>